Hi everyone. Today we'll be doing tutorials in a program called Rapid Miner Studio. I'm using the free edition. It is currently version 9.6. So let's get started. These tutorials are very well explained, but they have some uh, questions at the end that I'm going to be answering in these videos. And also I'm probably going to upload the files and you can find the links in the video descriptions and I'm going to go through all the tutorials that are currently here so that if anybody is stuck during the process of doing the tutorials they can come and look at these videos and probably get the answer for their questions. I just want to say something first that's very useful to me. If you uh, edit these panels that are uh, shown by default in Rapid Miner Studio and you drag them around and maybe you miss uh, misdrag something, misclick something, or change the environment that you get lost in it, uh, all you need to do is go to the view and then restore the default view. So you can experiment with the Rapid Miner. It is very easy to get back uh, to the default way that it first appears after installation. Now the first thing that we're going to be doing here is going to our help and launching tutorials. I already did some tutorials here uh, and I'm pretty fami familiar with data mining. So I'm here just trying to help you uh, understand the process and see the important things within data mining. So we'll begin with the getting started tutorials and the first one is called operators and processes. So let's begin. On the left side, we have the tutorial description. And I'm going to read the tutorial description for every tutorial so that it makes the following of the tutorial a bit easier. Uh, now, as you can see, there is a number here, 1 over 5. So this is the first step out of the five steps that tutorial contains. With that, you know how far along a tutorial you've come. Since this is the first tutorial that we're doing in Rapid Miner, I'm going to explain a bit what the process, repository, operators, parameters, and help panels are. So in the process panel, as it says, you're building your whole process. So here you're going to build your data mining process, and I'm going to show you how. You're going to have these nodes that are going to interconnect and then connect with the end result node. Now operators, as the name says, are actions that we can take to change our data set or filter it or make a new attribute or maybe even edit the existing attribute. The repository is where our data is. Actually, repository is where we have everything saved. So in the sample data, we have the data that we're going to use. In the local repositories, we can have data that we imported or processes that we saved. So everything that's saved within the rapid miner should be accessible within the repository, if you saved it correctly. We're going to build a process within the process panel itself. Uh, we're going to use operators to do that, and we're going to use repository to do that. For every operator and some of the repositories, you're going to have some parameters that you can tweak so that you can get the thing that you want from your filter or from the process that you're using. Uh, also, a very useful tool is the help panel, which gives you a uh, definition of anything that you're currently using. So if we go ahead and uh, bring any data within our into our process and click on it you will see that this action is called retrieve and it brings data into our process basically and it has an output that will show the data to us if we hover we can see the metadata about our data now that we got that out of the way uh, I'll just show you the results section this is where our results will be and it's a bit different to the design section because in design we have the process and we'll, we're building the process and results we're just examining results and we're going to see how to do that in detail that's been it for the introduction let's go ahead and do the first tutorial 